Are you looking for a HomeKit compatible standing light for your smart home? In this video, I'm gonna help you figure out whether the Yee Light Staria standing lamp is something you might wanna consider. Hey guys, Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, the channel where we bring you smart home content focusing on Apple HomeKit, but also looking at Amazon, Google, and whatever else I find interesting. If you find that interesting, do me a favor, subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when new videos are added. So first things first, I wanna let you guys know that this was a review unit provided to me from Banggood. So thank you Banggood for providing me this review unit. Uh, I really appreciate it, it helps to support the channel. All that was great. Again, I want you guys to know where this stuff comes from in case you think it affects my opinion. So we are looking at the Yee Light Staria standing lamp. So you may have seen the smaller version of this lamp. This lamp is not small. It is about 1.6 meters tall. So one and a half meters tall, which is uh, fairly tall. This is a tall standing lamp. And it really uh, is reminiscent to me of something that you might see from an Ikea uh, kind of aesthetic. It is 900 lumens, it's got uh, warmth control, color, all that great stuff, which we'll get into because there are some exceptions which you need to be aware of. What do I like about this lamp? There are a lot of things to like here. This is a really nice piece that has this luminescent glow around it. It's not too bright, it doesn't hurt your eyes, and it really is good for reading, which I really like that. I've got this installed in my living room, and I can just reach up and use the tactile controls, turn it on or off, use my Philips Hue buttons through HomeKit automations, use Amazon, use my HomePod minis once they arrive. All of that stuff is good. I have complete control over this from Amazon, from Google, from my Apple HomeKit home and I can integrate into all of those as well as using things like the uh, the Xiaomi Misha home app, the Yee Light app. There's a lot of possibilities that you can use with this particular lamp, which is great. For the Yee Light application itself, which is what I'm using for the management of this, there is a lot of great tools you can use. It does support Siri shortcuts as well, so you can use some of the uh, advanced features, the flickering, the notify, all those kinds of things. You can trigger using Siri shortcuts or personal automations using NFC tags or something like that. There are a lot of possibilities here. So what I don't like about this lamp? Well, there is really only one thing that I, really bugs me about this particular lamp, and that is what exactly is exposed to Apple HomeKit, which, if you're watching this video, probably is pretty important to you as well. So Yee Light absolutely does support Apple HomeKit. You can log into uh, your Apple HomeKit home or any of your HomeKit compatible apps and change the brightness and change the warmth, but you cannot change the color. Now, you could think, hey, maybe this was an oversight on Yee Light's parts, but no, this was actually a decision. If you look at the Google uh, interface or you look at Amazon's uh, Madam A interface, either of those apps, you can see both of those do support full color controls on the Yee Light Light Staria standing lamp. So this is something that was a choice that E-Light made as far as what they were going to expose to HomeKit. I kind of have a problem with that. Uh, I wish it did more. So although we don't have full color control uh, within the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, the Siri shortcuts can be used to be able to uh, adjust the color. So we can still do what we want to do without having to fully exit the Apple ecosystem. So let's take a look at the unboxing and the setup. So as you can see, the box here is not a small box, which is what you would expect from not a small lamp. Uh, it was a little tough for me to get it all in one frame in, of the camera here, but you can see generally what the contents of the box is. The lamp is mostly pre-built. The top half of the lamp, as you can see, is one single piece. So this includes the lamp itself, all the LEDs inside it, and the steel bar going all the way down to the tactile controls. And the tactile controls are really, really nice to have. So although you could definitely take your own lamp and smartify it using something like a Philips Hue or a LifeX light bulb, uh, the fact that the tactile controls are built right into this lamp, that I can double tap on it to change the warmth, that I can raise my finger up or down to be able to adjust the brightness, I think that's a really, really nice touch here. And I'm really happy that uh, Yulay did that for us. Looking at the rest of the lamp, 
uh, you can see this just basically screws in. It's very similar to any of the lamps that uh, any college kid in history has put together on their first trip to Ikea to put their dorm together. Very similar approach to the manufacturing here. As I've made that comparison to Ikea a couple times, there is something I want to point out here. I believe the build quality here is a lot better. Anybody who's bought an Ikea lamp in this shape knows that very quickly it will break off the bottom because those threads just don't, don't hold all that well. The Yi lamp, on the other hand, seems to have done a really good job of making sure that that is going to stay tight and going to stay in place and I really appreciate that. So that brings us to the end of the unboxing and the review. So final thoughts. Do I like the lamp? Would I recommend it? Absolutely I would recommend this lamp if what you're looking for is just a lamp for your living room where you're going to be able to adjust the brightness and the warmth and control it all through HomeKit as well as being able to control it through that tactile uh, switch right on the side of the lamp. If that's what you're looking for, this is a great product for you. If what you were looking for on the other hand was something to be able to set the mood, change all the colors, this might not be your best bet. In a home kit product. If that's what you're looking for, perhaps instead you'd want to look at retrofitting an existing lamp with a color bulb, like something from LifeX or Philips Hue or Vocalink. There's a lot of choices out there now. That might be a better direction for you to go in. What do you guys think? Did I miss anything? Is there any questions that I should have answered that I didn't? Um, comments? Just want to say hi? Put that in the comments below and I will definitely get to that as quickly as I can. Thanks for everybody for checking in again, and right about now, here or here should be videos that YouTube thinks you might be interested in next. See you guys soon.